How about a healthy dose of humble pie for two politicians who dished out and received some pretty good beatdowns over the last several months? Joining me now to talk about all of this, CNN political analyst Roland Martin, who uh, leans left. <laughs> Go ahead, lean left. Yeah. And CNN contributor Will Kane. I'm sort of going in a right. circle. <laughs> you kill me. Okay, so everybody knows this luncheon is, is political theater. I mean, Americans aren't stupid. So why put us through this, Will? I think it's uh, symbolically healthy. First of all, President Obama said he wanted to do it, so fulfilling that promise has value. I think to show the American people that politics is politics and people are people, and there are things that we can come together over, like food. Um, look, hey, by the way, Roland Martin and I, who agree on very little, um, and I don't even really like the guy, uh, had breakfast yesterday together. Really? Really? Yeah, oh, no. that's I like it. That's he the said, whole point. That's the whole point. We can yeah, disagree I I and we can be people. Oh, well, well let, me, <laughs> let me take you both back. George W. Bush, John Kerry. Kerry and Bush talked on the phone about healing, and they never talked again. And Kerry served on the Senate. I mean, okay, but let's imagine. I'm just going to go with Will and look upon right. this as glass half full. Imagine what if, Roland, what if... Mr. Obama could find something for Romney to do, and Romney agreed to do it. <laughs> yeah, White House usher. I mean, it's a lot of jobs that Mitt Romney could do for oh. the president. Look, first of all, okay, if we're going to do this lunch, okay, don't do it at the White House. The president should have taken Mitt Romney uh, to Ben's Chili Bowl, maybe get a half smoke, and maybe he can actually meet the 47 percent. You know what I mean? Come on. I mean, look, bottom line is I, I think it's, I have no problem with it. Uh, but I certainly think uh, for Mitt Romney, it's going to be one heck of a lunch uh, having to see the president sit there and smile at him and say, you know, I kick your behind. You know, I did, didn't you? Well, uh, but I, I, I do think there is a role, though, for individuals who run for president of the United States in terms of still operating in the public space. Uh, and, and because, again, we need all ideas on the table. So I'm sure the president. He's got a whole bunch of stuff he could ask Mitt Romney to do. Let's see, Mitt Romney. I mean, it's not like Mitt Romney needs to check. Well, I would only say, Will, that um, some Republicans even want Mitt Romney just to go away. So you wonder if President Obama finds a role for him, how effective he would be. That's right. Look, I mean, it's Democrats that want to keep Mitt Romney in the spotlight. They've built him into a caricature and like to continue <laughs> to use him as a symbol of Republicans. Republicans, it's not like Mitt Romney has any sway over Republicans, right? It's not like they're going to sit down over lunch. None. And, 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 and Barack Obama is going to say to Mitt Romney, hey, can you help me out with Republicans on this tax issue? Um, he has no sway with Republicans. And by the way, this idea of bringing Mitt Romney into the Obama administration is, is honestly, it's laughable. Um, I mean, the guy, the guy ran against everything on, Obama stands it, for. It, he ran against everything Obama stands for. And it, it, it's not going to happen. No, way, on the West all due respect as well, President Obama, and this isn't coming from uh, some right winger. This is, uh, you can take that out of your ears. This comes from reporters across Capitol Hill. President Obama doesn't like doing these things. He doesn't like the personal interaction, and he certainly isn't one known to set aside his his grudge. So uh, I don't see any place for Mitt Romney inside an Obama administration. I still think it would be Will, nice. If, I would if hire, only, Will, wait a second. I wait a second. I think it would. I think it would be nice, just for symbolism's sake, perhaps, if President Obama and Mitt Romney came out after that luncheon and appeared before cameras, said a few things, and walked away. Wouldn't that be nice, Roland? No, no. Oh, come okay, on. Exactly. Yes, what, it would. Oh, no, it wouldn't. No, it wouldn't. I mean, what, first of all, what, what, what are you going to say? The salad was great. I mean, come on. The bottom, the bottom line is, if you're the president of the United States, let's just be honest, Carol, you're not going to reduce yourself uh, to, uh, okay, I'm going to say next, next to the guy, I kicked his behind. No, 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 it's not going to happen. Uh, but again, I, I do that is, think that's macho that when you have... posturing. Macho posturing, no, Brian Martin. Yes, it macho. is. If wow, a, the guy if, with if all the bravado. If a woman beat Mitt Romney, if a woman beat Mitt Romney, she would say, I kicked his behind. Come on, Carol. Okay. Now, there's a small symbolic va uh, there's a small symbolic value, Carol, but it can't it can't mask our real disagreements. By the way, Roland, did you say you'd hire me? Yeah, I mean, I'm saying, Will, <laughs> I like you enough. I would I would be, I would hire you. I mean, I would find something uh, for you to do. I mean, that's what Aggies yeah. do to Longhorn. Okay. How are you? Guys? I want you two to go have your own beer summit right now and then report. Back. I don't drink, so we can't do beer. So, be okay, so you have milk like Mitt Romney will probably will. have and you have the beer, Will. Okay. No, no, no. I'm a brother, Carol. Chocolate milk. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the intriguing and interesting and intellectual conversation. Will K. Roland Martin. Thanks a lot. <laughs>